Next news first, I wanted to quickly talk about is the Bergheim February lineup. It finally dropped. It's been a while. I don't know what actually happened and why it took so long. Um, initially, the only bit of the lineup that was available was the CTM Festival lineup, which, you know, I probably haven't got enough time to actually go out there in general to enjoy. And most of the artists playing that are not really to my taste. But I was waiting for the entire list to come out and it took a while. Usually it comes out, if I'm not mistaken, before the 10th. So if you, yeah, it's, it's like the pre previous month before the 10th. So it's usually, you know, it would have come out sometime before January 10th for the February lineup and it didn't, it was a bit late. I'm not too sure why, maybe they're short staffed, maybe they were trying to get the lineup done. I don't know, if it's conspiracy theories, let them fly. But regardless, the lineup is out, finally out, and I've got my eye on a date here, which probably will be the 25th. The only thing that's a bit weird about the 25th uh, to go Bergheim is that for some reason, on that weekend, there's no Panorama Bar. There's no Finest Fridays or whatnot. Um, it's just a straight up Bergheim on the Saturday, but nothing on a Friday. That might mean there's a private event happening on a Friday or something that they've hired it out for. I'm not too sure. Or maybe a shoot or something, or maybe a concert. Who knows? But it's a bit disappointing because I would have liked to have gone there on the Friday also because now I've seen that Panorama Bar has a specific wristband that they give out to people. I, I actually might actually put a picture of it, upload it so you can see what it looks like. But there's a specific wristband that you get when you go to Panorama Bar, which I didn't know because I think last time I went there, I'm pretty sure last time I went there, I didn't get a specific wristband. I'm pretty sure it was just a regular Bergheim wristband. So the fact that they do specific ones that's a different color with a different design them is pretty cool just for the you know novelty side of things. I would have liked to have got that, but that's not going to happen. So it is what it is. But the Saturday the 25th of February is looking very tasty. And considering the lineup, I'm really, really eager to see a lot of these people playing. Main room, Bergheim, you've got Speedy and Steve playing live. You've got Roro Halal. You've got DJ Maria, Drum Cell, Eat Up Kyle, Polygonia and Rod. In Panorama Bar, you've got Ada, Chaz Demir. You've got Francisco Menduni, Massimiliano Pellegrilla. You've got Peach on Fuse, Roy Perez, Sam Goku and Tur. Now... The reason why I really like this lineup and why people should be giving Bergheim more credit than probably they do get, especially in recent times, considering all the issues people are having with people cutting the queue, with the queue lengths and how long they take, the rising price in entry, the rising price in drinks, which is definitely something that's happening as, you know, the you know, we're in this kind of financial squeeze at the moment. There are loads of things to kind of point out the things they're doing wrong. But one thing you can't deny is that they do a lot of things right when it comes to selections in terms of the scale and the kind of reputation of the club the fact that they have somebody like a dj maria again because i love to you know google some of the people who play and see who they are because some people i don't really recognize some of course i do but i wasn't really familiar with dj maria so i kind of searched her online and i'm pretty sure i found her profile and it's a, a young lady i'm not sure where she's from but she does have many followers maybe a thousand or so followers her soundcloud isn't you know that popping off whatever it may be she has i think some appearances i'm pretty sure on on whore i'm pretty sure i saw one on whore if i'm not mistaken maybe it's Poly polygonia but regardless she's not that well known and she's playing at Bergheim. same goes for Poly polygonia um, unless maybe you guys know them more so than i do but they're not that well known they're not that super famous but they're playing in one of the biggest clubs in the world and i think that's something that a lot of smaller clubs especially in london don't even do some of them will never let you play there unless you put a night on. So you have to kind of, you know, take some financial risk or whatnot, have some skin in the game for them to let you play behind their hallowed decks. But for whatever reason, Berghain is able and willing to kind of sniff out and kind of get people playing, you know, at their club who are essentially unknown, which is pretty insane if you think about it. For the scale, you'd think that they'd be like, you know, really um, tight and really kind of, you know, nose in the air about who plays there. But from what it looks like, if you've got the right connections, if you've got the right friends to introduce you, if maybe the you know the person that books the um, the DJs in general stumbles across your page or likes what you play when you've been you know featured on horror or something, you could have an opportunity to play a Burkhan. It really is that easy, um, and it's pretty cool to see that there is an avenue, there is kind of a route to get to that level. Because obviously, myself, you know, coming from where I'm coming from, that's the obviously the end kind of goal, the end kind of dream. That's when you're realize, okay, cool, you're definitely going in the right direction when you've kind of got a booking in that way. And there's something that I'm definitely kind of aiming for sometime in. The future no rush whatever happens it happens i love things to kind of just evolve and to kind of you know develop over time as they do happen in kind of the natural flows of life and sometimes opportunities kind of 
falling in love in a weird way i kind of look back to that weird story i remember reading um on finn johansson's blog back in the day where he was talking about some club night that he put on where one of the djs i was meant to be playing i think was ill or had to go home and some random person in the crowd jumped on the decks and kind of went back to back with him and then he left that person to play and then he went home and that person played all the way until the early hours in the morning now it doesn't happen all the time it's a bit of a no it's a bit of a you know no it's a bit of a it's a bit of a random story, but I still love the whole idea about something like that just happening in the moment, you know, where these kind of, you know, all these things align at the same time, that person going home, someone being in the crowd who kind of understands what you play, is willing to play and plays until, you know, the basically nice end. I thought that was pretty cool to see. And that's something that I'm definitely, I'm definitely kind of more in tune to because the whole kind of forcing things and sending emails, is just, you know, it's lame and it's not really needed. Um, when things are meant for you they will definitely come your way so it's definitely something i'm kind of looking forward to but again like i said it's really encouraging when you just see people on the list of Berghain and non-flipping paramabar who you don't really know too much about they're not that super famous um they're not got super big followings online they're not big massive social media stars or whatnot but they're still able to play in one of the most biggest clubs um in front of some of the most well discerning audiences known to man and i think that really goes a long way to kind of you know um really show people that there is a way to kind of get up there and kind of traverse that path so that's definitely something that i'm currently looking forward to and of course to see ches damir playing at paramba will be sick if i'm not mistaken that will also be an opportunity for him to see him maybe promote his new ep that's out now at the moment so i'll be pretty sick and um, the return of roy perez who i haven't seen at paramba in a while but i remember seeing him and dr rubenstein play you know paramba before and i always enjoyed that oh no i saw him and uh, rubenstein played sorry at uh, flipping burger in main room so i'll be pretty cool and sam go could being on permanent vacation i'm pretty sure i'm going to enjoy that set also so loads of really cool interesting people to check out and be kind of on the lookout for so i'm definitely eager to check that out and see that happens when it happens on 25th so really 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 eager for that one